to two artists of reddit what's the are you fking sure about getting this one moment you had with a client this isn't my story but a story i was told at a bar I was talking to a guy while smoking and he was a tattoo artist. He told me he had a female client who wanted an neck tattoo that said fuck yeah old bitches. Your man chose me. He said that he delicately. As politely as humanly possible. Got her to agree to just the words he chose me. He said the kicker was telling the woman that the tattoo would be meaningful in different social situations. Such as a wedding per se. He chose me. Or when going to church. He chose me. The woman agreed and got it tattooed. Former tattoo artist. A man who looked to be in his late 50s with no other tattoos came in asking for a black widow on the tip of his penis. He said he wanted to surprise his wife when she got back from her trip that weekend. He didn't seem to be under the influence of anything fueling him to make this ridiculous choice. So I proceeded to tell him it was a horrible idea. DCK skin is not the same as other areas you'd get a tattoo. It would be painful. He would not want to use his DCK while a tattoo was healing. Everything I could think of for him to logically come to the conclusion that it was a bad idea. No dice. I could also tell he was getting off on trying to make me uncomfortable. Small female. Mid 20s at the time. I finally said sure and threw out an astronomical handling fee. He frowned and finally walked out the door. Opposite end of this spectrum. I was 19 and my buddy from the dorms in college decides he wants a tattoo on his stomach of his initials. Think Tupac thug life tattoo but like gothic lettering initial or something. Sounded stupid to me but whatever. I am not a tattoo guy. But. We go into this tattoo shop that was pretty popular at the beach near us and he tells the guy what he wants and is looking at pricing and fonts etc. But. The tattoo guy starts trying to talk him out of getting his initials and instead says he needs something more you know I grabbing like violence. Or rage. Or mayhem. You know something cool. His exact words and suggestions. Strangest interaction by anyone trying to sell anything I have ever seen. To also put some perspective on this. This was 1999 and my buddy had a pucker shell necklace. Frosted tips hair and wore cargo shorts and ray floor and polos every day of his life. He was not the I need a tattoo that says violence on my stomach kind of guy and that was pretty obvious. I was getting work done and the receptionist came in to speak with the artist. She had someone at the front desk looking for a quote on barbed wire starting around his wrist and wrapping around his arm all the way up to the shoulder. Double quote. How about nothing? Because that's stupid and I won't do it. Double quote. Oh. Uh. Okay. I'll tell him. Double quote. He looked at me and said. Sometimes you have to be the good taste police. I did a Nike swoosh once when I was broke and I still regret it. Double quote. Not me. But one of my artists. He said a couple came in and the guy wanted his girlfriend's name tattooed on his chest. Like in big writing all across the top of his chest. Him and the owner of the shop flat out said no. He told me they said no because he found out they had been dating for 3 months and the font design he was wanting would have made a hard cover up. So they decided they didn't want the tattoo since they knew it screamed coming back in 2 months for a cover up. I was out on a bike ride one day and an old pickup with a canopy on it drove by. On the canopy was a business logo and the business name was you want what where? Mobile tattoo service. I can't even begin to imagine what they've seen. I knew a guy at basic training who had an inner tails. The Pokemon. Tattooed on his ankle because the guy doing them was offering them for $5 each at the beach. Whenever someone between the ages of 18 and 25 comes in. We always give them a quick once over to make sure they're sober and then ask them if they're 100% sure. Not the worst idea. My artist 10 stroke 10 did this to me when I got my first one done at 20. It was just a simple little quote that means a lot to me. But still. Couldn't blame him at all for asking me the same questions over and over and making sure I'm all there. I'm sure you guys have seen some shit. I witnessed a tattoo artist attempt to talk a guy out of a tattoo while getting one. This guy who was maybe early 30s came in. He was super awkward and had a few other people with him. They were obviously drunk. 
He explained to the artist he wanted a Hello Kitty tramp stamp the size of a CD. His friends all laughed and started to record this guy. The artist asked him why and he said his friends thought it was funny. The artist tried to talk him out of it. He ended up getting the tattoo. I think about this poor guy who was obviously doing this to fit in with his crowd of friends and how he has to live with a tramp stamp of Hello Kitty. The first tattoo I ever got to do in a shop was a cover up of a woman's name. Let's say Amy. On this guy's chest. The man explained to me that she cheated on him with some guy named Keith. I lived in a somewhat small town. And the very next day this couple comes in wanting the woman's name tattooed on the guy's butt. The guy who owned the shop was gonna let me do this as my second tattoo seeing as he was pleased with the one from the day before. I asked for her name and when she said Amy I laughed inside to myself thinking there was no way it was the same one. Well. The guy's name was Keith. He told me. He said as I was shaving his butt cheek. I couldn't help but laugh. And said I was giggling because I'd never shaved a butt cheek before. Turns out they had only been together for the past few weeks but were madly in love. Not an artist but. A friend in college wanted to get do not go gentle into that good night. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. On her back since she loved the poem by Dylan Thomas. Problem was it was too long so she was going to shorten it to do not go gentle. I had to convince her that was probably not a great idea. Definitely the Pillsbury Doughboy holding money bags. Accompanied with the gentleman's street name which I can no longer remember. Runner up is evil bitch on the girl's thighs. I'm not an artist. By any means. But I went with my younger brother for his first and the artist had a look like he was dying on the inside the entire time. I could see the absolute defeat in the man's eyes when my brother responded with yeah that'll show the bitch. What was planned was a gorgeous macaw and some flowers along with a nickname our grandma used to call him before she died. But literally as he's walking back with the artist for final decision my brother decides the macaw needs to be a skull. The flowers needed to be daggers and the lettering death instead of the nickname. This was being changed because his girlfriend had broken up with him a few days before and he was angry and this tattoo would be his outlet. The artist was able to come up with something but it definitely looked thrown together last and he wasn't happy. The ex never even saw the tattoo. As far as I'm aware she blocked him and all of his friends and moved back to her home state with her mom. Not mine but our tattoo artist's friend. He was indecisive of his first tattoo. So what he did was to take a marker. Did some quick scribble on his arm and said this one. The artist and even his friends went WTF is wrong with you are you sure and he indeed was sure. Since then. It has become the symbol of his indecisiveness. Edit. I don't normally say this but thank you for the upvotes. Another thing is that I would really love to show you guys the tat. But unfortunately I can't. Yet. Maybe I'll be posting it soon on my profile or our tattoos. Or post the link here if this post doesn't get archived yet. As soon as I meet the man again. I would definitely ask for a pic of his tattoo and share it with you guys. P. S. I don't wanna scribble it as how I remember it. That would suck. My wife is a tattoo artist. Yesterday she informed me that a friend colleague of hers was tattooing a donut around someone's asshole. Does this count? When I was an apprentice I just got handed a lot of assignments I couldn't turn down. The one that stands out is a couple who got enormous tattoos that just said dysfunctional shoulder to shoulder. In giant font. They were white but it was in the style of those large. Arching Chicano family name style tattoos. I was handed the assignment of tattooing the woman of the couple because the boyfriend didn't want another man touching his woman and I was the only female with a slot. Also they just like sucked as people. Were on too many muscle relaxants and kept slipping off the chairs and jolting up. Twitching. They said lots of aggro things etc. I was lucky that her shoulders were much smaller so I finished her up much quicker than the poor dude that was tattooing her boyfriend. He kept having to come back for more sessions. Also. Nazis like to try and trick you into giving Thimni tattoos. It's like a perverse little game with various levels of sophistication. So that's obnoxious. I hate it. 
I got my tattoo at a friend's kitchen table from a Canadian man that was passing through from bike week. We were all drinking and not once did he ask me are you sure? Thanks Brock still love my tat. Oh. Boy. I was traveling through Germany in my late teens and had a few too many liters of beer. When I stumbled into a tattoo shop demanding a flaming pentagram. Held by a demon's hand. With the banner of my name under it. I'd been carrying a sketch for months. The shop owner asked me. Bist du dissessiger? And I kinda had a moment there. I said. Sorta of tentatively. Yes. And he turned me away immediately. Too drunk to consent. Saved my life. Back when I was an apprentice. I tattooed matching pieces for a young couple. It was Arabic text. Running from the nape of the neck right down the spine to the coccyx. They initially wouldn't tell me what I said. But after I refused to tattoo it without knowing. They told me. Hers said you are the jelly to my peanut butter and his said the reverse. They'd been together for two months. I don't do couple relationship tattoos anymore. One of my best friends is a tattoo artist and a real pro. She's much older than me but we became close when I was 15. I asked, begged, her for a tattoo when I was 16 and she agreed as long as I got parental permission. My mom was done arguing with me by then and said. Whatever. So I picked out what I remember feeling extremely passionate about. A fairy looking back with tons of swirls and sparkles I saw a huge tramp stamp. She laughed at me and argued that this in no way represented who I really am and that it would be almost impossible for her to endorse. I was very persuasive and so she agreed to do it in a beautiful pencil like way so that she could cover it up when I was grown and wanted to. It looked awesome to me so I was easily persuaded. Kept that dumb sh tea for 20 years and now I'm free several hour sessions in on a half back cover up and man is it cool that the fairy is gone. Thanks Andrea. Edit. Dang. Thanks yo. Hit my girl up. At inappropriate at a two. Other end of the spectrum I got asked are you sure? About 15x. I was 18 and the tattoo artist who did my first professional tattoo had posted a photo of a piece she wanted to do and it was going to be roughly $900. I didn't have the money but was in love with the piece so sadly someone else scooped it up. A few months later. She posted the piece again and said that the person had backed out and she wanted to do it for a competition piece at a tattoo convention. It was roughly 13x8 inches. So a large piece yeah no. I saw the post. Ran down to the shop and paid the deposit and said I would do it as a present to myself for my 19th birthday. She explained it would have to be all done in one sitting, roughly 9 hours, the day of at the convention in time for judging. And I told her I wouldn't change my mind. It hurt like a BTCH and took forever. But it was one of the best experiences and one of my favorite pieces. Not an artist but when I was getting my first tattoo I was sitting in the waiting area and this girl probably 18-20 was with her mom and they were talking with the artist. The girl wanted some Arabic script on her arm and the artist asked them if they knew what it meant at least two times and they said no but insisted on getting it. She did end up getting it. I would think that of all people. The tattoo community would have assembled a resource where you can send them a smartphone pic of a tat proposal. And someone who speaks that language would verify it before you ink that BTCH up. Farsi. Arabic. Chinese. Japanese. Etc. Not a tattoo artist but I am an idiot. I was 19 and super into piercings and tattoos. I'd had both my nipples double pierced. A plus one side and a rex the other. Decided the finishing touch would be to get the Punisher skull tattooed above the diagonal piercings. Skull and crossbones. So cool. Told the guy what I wanted and he flat out said no way in hell am I doing that shit I was mad but wanted a tattoo so instead got the skull on my calf. 19 Yomi was pissed it didn't happen. 29 Yomi is so grateful that guy didn't let me go through with it. I wanted a tattoo on the bottom of my foot so bad. Three different tattoo artists told me no. And objectively they were right. Cuz like. That's where it's most likely to rub off. Infection chance is much higher. It hurts like hell. Etc. But I really wanted it. So I did it myself stick and poke. And it was the worst pain I've ever experienced. 
but 5 years later it's still going strong. I actually did get one on the bottom of my foot. The artist, whom herself had the word lost on the bottom of her soul, was doing this little collective project of people who wanted a word somehow related to soul soul or foot or whatever on the ball instep of their feet. It wasn't as painful as I'd expected. I wore flip flops and kinda tiptoed with that foot until it was healed, quickly. Actually. That was about 11 years ago. And it's now very blurry. Partially worn. You can still identify that it's a word. But can't really read it. It was fun at the time. Though. My current, college, job is at a tattoo place in El Paso. I basically had to make sure people were sure that the design they sent was the one they wanted. One dude wanted to have me a color leaf tattooed on his ass crack. Not on the ass cheek but literally on his asshole. I had to say that that was not possible. I don't know if this qualifies. But I will still post it here. Anyone who picks a tattoo design off the wall without thought gets a are you sure? Double quote. Tattoo artist here. We design tattoos art and put them on the wall for people who don't know what they want to pick from. It's called flash. I have a client who I a tattoo artist and I asked is essentially the same question. He said when he had first started a woman called asking about a tattoo for her husband. She wanted her husband to get a tattoo of a cowgirl pinup girl style on his ribs with a barbed wire whip which is a relatively normal tattoo idea but the weird part was she wanted the whip to trail across his stomach down his groin and then wrap specifically three times around his penis he said a few of the weird parts was the fact of how many details she had about it wrapping around his penis and the fact that it was the wife calling as well. He said it was one of the weirdest suggestions he had been asked for lol. This guy at Boomtown Festival had Sassy the Sasquatch on his shin. With the words fucking Drago underneath. Really high quality as well. Can't imagine what the tattoo artist must have been thinking. Not my story but it was requested while I was getting my first tattoo. So I'm sitting there just shooting the shti with the artist and the owner of the shoe comes in. Gets set up and starts doing his thing on an iPad. Then his phone rang and the conversation was something like this. Hi this is, with blah blah tattoo shop. Um yeah I think I can do that. How big were you thinking? Double quote. So you want a tattoo that looks exactly like a fresh c-section scar? Double quote. Dude hangs up and just kind of stared out the window for a while then he turns to my artist and asks why the fck would some what a fresh c-section scar is a tattoo. Not a tattoo artist at all but when I was in HS. I went to a summer program and one of the girls, underage, went off and got a tattoo that red fuck trump on her ankle. First is important yo say I'm Mexican. So in my country it's usually to see a catholic tattoo so my aunt uncle told me hey can you come with me? I'm gonna get a tattoo. Um yeah sure. He was going to tattoo a hante with a virgin de guadalupe. The guy just said WTF if you let me make you this I will pay to you and that's it. Holy shit. You've gotta have an image you can share. The Virgin of Guadalupe incorporated into a hente tattoo has amazing potential. I knew a guy that got into the shittiest college around. Like. They literally would take anyone. The day he got accepted he was drunk and got their emblem tattooed on his calf. He's now working in a pretty lucrative career but thinks it's both hilarious and terrible that someone let him do that. Edit. Words. I worked in a tattoo shop for years. Though not as a tattoo artist. Any name that wasn't an parent or child. Or a memorial to someone who had passed. We had a straightforward talk to. One of our artists was very good at cover jobs. And hearing from him directly about how many names he covers up is always a reality check. We also find other ways to get what they want. For many. Getting a symbolic image instead of a written name is the option they turn to. A friend of mine from my high school days is currently covered in absolutely ridiculous tattoos. Some aren't that dumb per se. But the reasoning is just awful. The kid was a real petrol head. In high school. He thought if he got a tattoo of a monster energy logo that monster would sponsor the car he was trying to build. 10 years later. He does not have a deal with monster energy. I don't remember what the picture was of. But I remember my dad had a client over with two or three of his friends. 
The client shows my dad a picture and asks him what do you think? Double quote. My dad said. That shit is fkn stupid looking and his friends start laughing. He looks at his friends like wtf and the friends said they didn't want to tell him and hurt his feelings. That it was a stupid tattoo. They were just gonna go along with it. Some friends. Huh. Edit. My dad was a very talented artist. While also brutally honest. I'm the client in this one. My husband and I wanted simple tattoo rings. Since neither of us really wear much jewelry. We were together for 6 years before getting married. And have a very strong. Healthy relationship. A friend is the pisser and co-owner of a local tattoo shop. He convinced the other owner, the tattoo guy, to do it. On the condition that we never tell anyone where we got them. They don't want to be known as a shop that will do bad decision tattoos. Which is totally fair. The tattooist that did my first tat told me that she'd had a 19 year old girl. Who'd lost her bet with her friends. Tell her that she wanted treat me like a princess and I'll fck you like a whore tattooed across her lower belly. They declined. Years ago hanging out with a former pal who was in a band that had all kinds of ink, I went to the same guy he did to get my work done. We were hanging out at the record store he worked at and this female groupie of his band came in. To say this person was not attractive was a gross understatement. She was always making over sexual comments to me pal. Well when she came in she told us she was going to get two new tattoos done. One in her armpit of a rectum with a hand coming out of it holding an eyeball. Two she wanted teeth tattooed around her vagina. As soon as she left we called the guy that did our work to give him a heads up of the request coming his way. His response was hell fucking no. Not a tattoo artist but was in a tattoo shop where I witnessed a overweight woman asking the tattoo artist to tattoo a mouth with tongue licking lips above her vagina with the words eat me above the image. Tattoo artist outright refused. Not an artist. But my mum once saw a bloke covered in tats. With a huge new one on his shin and a bottle of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. She said it was the only tattoo she has ever liked. That guy was probably a big fan of dad jokes and lived for the moment where people would ask. What's the story behind that one? And naturally he'd answer. It's hard to say. Double quote. Friends and I were at a tattoo parlor while one was getting ink done. Another asked what free tattoo he could get and the artist said they would do angel wings comprised entirely of dicks on his back for no cost. He was completely on board. Taking his shirt off and taking to a chair. The available artists were giving each other the spicy shack face and getting my friend set up. At the last moment. They had a change of heart and decided not to do it. Friend in question was stone cold sober. 2. A bad lettering made by her sons. It looked like a 3 yo learning to write his name. I rose as first tattoo in the neck, it hurts like hell. You shouldn't have a saru painful one as first tattoo, couple name for a 14 yo with mother permission. I always reject this ones but this one was too much. Not exactly an answer to this cue. But related. The guy, named guy, who did my two biggest pieces had a few maxims he worked by. The first was. You can't begrudge anyone their tattoo choice. Somebody might really need a unicorn and rainbows in a way you'll never understand or relate to the second kind of contradicted the first. He would not do any Tasmanian devil tattoos, the cartoon character. Not the real life beast. He was so adamant about it I never bothered asking him why. But I'm pretty sure it was the cheese factor. Day after I got back from Iraq the first time I got blackout drunk and apparently went to some shitty tattoo shop in NC and tried to get leatherneck across my entire throat. Buddy told me the tattoo artist said come back tomorrow and if you still want it I'll do it and even give you a discount. Next day I went and bought him lunch and thanked him profusely. I know many tattoo artists who would have just taken the money. I owe that guy a lot. I got a tattoo on my wrist at 19 almost 15 years ago, holy shit. I almost wrote 10 then realized it's actually been 15. Yikes. A girl. My age. Came in while I was getting the tattoo and wanted something on her hand. The tattoo artist asked her some questions then ended up refusing to do it. 
He never once asked me if I was sure about the tattoo I was getting on my wrist. I kind of regret the placement. It looks like a stamp. I worked retail and I had customers try to rub it off because they didn't believe it was a tattoo or think it was a club stamp. I always thought it was strange that the artist never questioned me about placement since I was so young. Late to the party. So this will be buried. But here goes. I'm not an artist. And an acquaintance in the navy was the recipient. His name was Rudolph. He gets this tattoo. Really good work. In spite of the content of a cartoon anthropomorphic reindeer, red nose of course, boning a reasonably realistic blonde chick in doggy style. With Rudolph don't play reindeer games written around it. It was the kind of thing that was funny for a bunch of navy guys for a minute. But just dumb after that. He showed it to every girl he hit on. And the look of disgust, universal I might add, was funnier than the tattoo itself. And that never got old. Somehow he never picked up on that. Not an artist but the artist that did my leg told me about an 18 year girl who wanted a Gucci Mane style ice cream cone on her face. For her first tattoo. He said that she was insistent and he told her no especially since anything on the face is called a job killer. Not a tattoo artist but mine had a you fucking sure bud? Moment with me. I went through a bad breakup and started a lot of self destructive habits. One of which was going to get a tattoo that covered my head. Some of my face and all of my neck. Tattoo artist went back and forth with me trying to convince me it was a bad idea. He said wait a month and come back and he would do it if I was still sure. I came back a month later and he gave me a fuck off price. I came back a week later with the money in hand and he flat out said no. He showed me some designs for sleeves instead and said he would discount his rate if I settled for them. I did. Looking back. Dude definitely saved my ass from a shitty shit decision. Not an artist but my buddy was living with this girl. She decides to get his name tattooed on her arm. I tried to change her mind but she was hell bent on getting it done. It wasn't even healed before he moved out. I asked him why he let her do it and he shrugged and said she was crazy. He told her not to do it once and if she did it then it was on her. My sister called me in the middle of a weekday afternoon. Clearly drunk. She had met an aspiring tattoo artist at the bar and he agreed to tattoo a chili pepper on her butt. She called to ask if it was a good idea. I told her no one to get the heck out of there. It was too late. She was already in his trailer house. Laying on his bed waiting for him to prep his tattoo gun. When I saw her a couple months later I asked right away to see her new tattoo. She drops her pants and on her right butt cheek is a huge carrot. She insisted it was a chili pepper for years. But recently her husband got her convinced it's a carrot. My brother wanted a tattoo like the boondock saints had, Aquitus Veritas, on his forearm but didn't want it to be long enough to show if he was wearing long sleeves so the tattoo artist suggested another word in Latin that means similar. Cervix. My brother didn't recognize the word it was in English. He ended up getting it lasered off. Very expensive tattoo. My dad and his ex-wife got a king and queen of hearts on their ass when they got married in Vegas. He asked the artist to cover it with a cool skull pirate. Artist says oh. But pirate. Now it's a huge marlin. Not a tattoo artist but I tried to convince a good friend not to get a tattoo. Long story short. Freshman year of college. Warehouse party. Xanax. And at the end of the night my friend says I feel like getting a tattoo. We eventually go to the tattoo shop and my friend gets his favorite lyric tattooed on his ribcage. We wake up in the morning and he was visibly shocked. Not only because he got a tattoo but because it said you can check out any time you like. But you can never leave the beagles. You read that right. The beagles. Former pro musician here. One of my bands did this big festival that was mostly an expo for tattoo artists. The best story I heard was an artist who, every few months, has to yet again turn down the same guy who wants his Jagallo makeup design tattooed on his face. Not a tattoo artist, but an interaction I had with someone who was refused enlistment to the Australian Defence Force because of a tattoo. 
Note that he was medical professional seeking entry to the reserves as his degree would have guaranteed him a captain's rank. Basically. This guy had a very explicit. Very detailed tattoo on his arm of a voluptuous woman with a large snake entering her anus and coming out of her mouth. ADF recruiter has taken one look and said thanks. But no thanks. He was genuinely puzzled and outraged as to how it could be considered offensive. I personally think he was rejected more due to his psych profile and the recruiter was trying to let him down easy. Local shop used to do $25 grab bag tattoos. They had a box full of envelopes containing a flash piece. You walked pay $25. Draw an envelope. What you pulled was what you got. Dumbasses would line up for that shit. My boyfriend and I went into a tattoo shop. He didn't have any tattoos. He got my name tattooed on him. The artist asked about how long we'd been together, a year. He gave a year a ref king idiot look to my boyfriend. And asked him if he was sure about this an uncomfortable amount of time. That was about 7 years ago. Haven't talked to that, no ex, boyfriend in about 5 years. Not my story. A girl my friend went to high school with got no white guys tattooed on her 18th birthday. She is a white girl. According to my friend she had to go to 3 different tattoo shops before she found someone who would tattoo it on her. At the first tattoo shop she tried to get it as the artist told her no way. At which point the group of black guys she was with, who were the ones that wanted her to get this tattoo, threatened to kick the artist's ass if he didn't do it. So the artist pulled out a gun and they all took off out of there. She was still in HS and living with her parents. So naturally it took like a day before they saw it. At the time my friend had heard that her father had disowned her for it. But this was nearly 20 years ago at this point. There was a lot more context to this situation. Which actually made it seem a lot worse than it appears on the surface. But yeah. Not quite the same. But I had my first, and only. For now. Tattoo done in Finland while I was visiting a friend. I wanted a feather with B flag colors on my shoulder. The artist spoke really good English. But he definitely had to ask several times and eventually confirm through my friend, who's more than fluent, translating to make sure he did what I wanted. It ended up amazing and I still love it. Not a tattoo artist but girl I know got a matching tattoo with her BF. It was like a heart monitor line going up and down before jumping up into an actual love heart and leveling out again. Obviously. Over their hearts. They broke up. She met someone else. Got engaged. Good for them. I'm scrolling through Facebook and what do I see? Them at the beach. New man with his shirt off and he's got hot now as well. So there's three people in the world with this exact design and one of them is her ex. My artist told me about someone who came in who wanted CNT tattooed across the back of their hand in Disney font. Him and every artist at the parlor said absolutely not Lomeo. Actually. My favorite piece I've done in the past 6 months was an ignorant style piece that says fuck ice on an undocumented immigrant who is currently in med school. I also got to tattoo a red white and blue antifa text on a dude's arm. I love my job. I live in Portland and tattoo a lot of protesters. My tattoo artist told me that some guy went to his shop and asked for a tattoo about his sports nickname. Which was Pigasus. He was a bike racer or something like that. So he agreed and made a design and showed it to him. He said it really looked nice. But could you maybe put the Pegasus in a bike? Like he's riding it? Dot. And that's how he got to make a Pegasus riding a bike tattoo. He said it really looked cool. But unfortunately he hadn't a photo of it. This girl I shared a house with a few years ago. Multiple roommates. She's probably 19 at the time. Cute blonde blue eyes. Looks like a church girl. Insisted she wanted her entire forearm from wrist to elbow blacked out. Not a design. Not a shape or anything. Just jet black from wrist to elbow. Said she planned to get the elbow to shoulder done later. We all tried to talk her out of it. She wound up getting it done. It looks like absolute dog shit and she wasn't able to get a job after her internship because of it. Still friends on Facebook and she seems to have gone on a really steep decline into hard drugs and p. Oh. S boyfriends after that. 
made me really sad I couldn't convince her not to do it. I'm not personally a tattoo artist. But my dad is. He told me one time that these two drunk military dudes that came into his shop and asked for stick figures on their dicks. He told them that if they came back sober he'd do it. He got paid real well and tatted some sword fighting stick figures. I'm a fan of the show Supernatural and decided that I wanted to get a Devil's Trap tattoo. Season 1. Episode 22. Sam is drawing it on the Impala. I did some googling and tried freeze framing the scene to get a good picture. It wasn't until years later. When a co-worker pointed it out to me. That it spelled out Michael. Until then. I had been reading it as Charmiel. Nsarosa. I tried to get a tattoo on my pectoral muscle that said I make bad decisions while drinking. The tattoo artist went from I can do one in an hour to I can't tattoo someone who's drunk in like 3 seconds. I was drinking a beer the entire interaction. Honestly I wouldn't mind having that tattoo now. It would be a nice reminder of Vegas. I'm the tattoo My most recent piece includes the word fuck and it's on my right forearm. I went to a new artist cause I'm new in town, and showed him the art. It was during the winter so all of my tattoos were covered when we met. I showed up a week later for my appointment and the guy drew up the piece. Son the lettering. I explained I wanted the lettering too and he just sorta stared at me for a second. I explained to him that I was 35. Work 3 jobs that all were either cool with whatever or I could cover it up. I also told him it would be my 15th tattoo. He was happy to add the lettering after he realized I wasn't a 20 something just walking up for my first tattoo with a big ol' f bomb on my forearm. It's one of my favorites. This was about a year ago. There I am doing my thing in my shop when a lovely young man walks in and asks if we do custom designs. Yes I reply. So he pulls out a very detailed piece of paper upon which there was a drawing. A drawing of Jesus on the cross getting his DCK sucked by Judas. I'm not in the habit of questioning my clients but I had to ask why he wanted it. My parents are Christian was his reply. I actually love this tattoo. But had to share. I have a good friend who is gay. But he rocks a super straight swagger. He is not gangster at all. But grew up a scrappy kid in a rough part of town. He has a big thug font tattoo across his upper chest that simply reads. Not gangster. From 15 feet away. It looks gangster as fuck. I saw a guy in his 20s with a minicraft diamond sword tattooed on his forearm. I can only imagine the face of the tattoo artist when he asked for it. I complimented him on it though. And he blushed and said thanks ie. Not me but my old roommate. And this is a typical one. A guy walked into the shop wanted to have a measure tattooed on his dick. He made a deposit and obviously he chickened out. In case you are wondering. According to my roommate. It was just normal. My half sister is a tattoo artist. Someone came in and said she had her name legally changed to Alicious. Pronounced like a combination of Al and Delicious. Apparently Alicious is from My Little Pony. She just wanted it spelled weird, and she wanted the whole world to know that. She wanted it tattooed on her forever. My half-sister wouldn't do it. I really dig the answers to this questions. A lot of tattoo artists are great people when it comes to talking someone down from getting something permanent going on their body they will later most deaf. Regret. Kudos to Yale. Not a tattoo artist. But I had to deal with this one. I was heading to a wedding. One of my older sisters wanted to show off her tattoos. One of them is a crown. I straight up told her don't show that to one of the guests. Because I knew a few of them were police officers. That sister had been a member of a dangerous gang. Which I wasn't impressed with. Same with most of the family. I bet the tattoo artist had the same IUF King serious expression. My husband is a tattoo artist and a guy we knew asked for Tupac. But as a merman. I visited Nick with a friend and we ended up getting matching tattoos. As we were waiting for our turns. A guy came in and wanted to get a big tattoo of a snake. On his face. We spent most of our appointment trying to convince both the guy and the tattoo artist not to do it. Not sure how that story ended unfortunately. 
not a tattoo artist. Or a third party. I'm the client. 19 years old. Visiting my husband. Yes. I was just a ball of bad decisions rolling, lol anyways. We went with a group of friends to get tattoos. I hit a wall of indecision. When I was called to the chair 3 hours later I picked a drawing off the wall. Of two unicorns kissing. I had him remove the horns and I wanted it to be half sleeve. Lomfeo. Well my dumbass forgot. You know. It hurts. Dumb. The guy seems pretty annoyed with me already. That needle touched my arm and I jumped. I said. Okay. I'm done. One line is enough. I wish that was the end. But he had just opened all the ink and needles and been paid. He barked at me to sit still and shut up or I'd be duct taped to the chair. I sat for about 2 hours before I said enough is enough. To this day. I'm 31. That tattoo sits on my arm unfinished. IDK what to do with it and. I don't really trust the artist in this small town. I bet I'm a story to that artist in MO. This is a different perspective. I was dating this guy whose best buddy had a crooked tattoo on his lower back. The tattoo was an interlocking Celtic not Tibetan Buddhist knot in a rectangle shape about 8 inches wide by 3-4 inches long. The tattoo artist placed it skewed. On an angle. Completely screwing up this guy's look for the rest of his life. How can a tattoo artist make such a nasty mistake and at any point does anyone double check their work? This was in Nick. By the way. I never got a tattoo and that guy's crappy one sealed the deal for me. And I don't regret it. Not a tattoo artist. But one time when my wife was getting work done and I was waiting around. I looked over to see what someone else was getting. I had reach out and stop the artist and keep them from starting. They had applied the stencil, comma backwards to the customer's skin and were about to start in with the entire mirrored. The giveaway was the mirrored words. It was a sports team if I remember correctly. The artist was initially annoyed that I had stopped them and then stopped to think it through. I had a guy who wanted a heart with a banner across it that said MoMA for his mama. I told him it was spelled wrong. He didn't know that. He insisted on spelling it wrong in the tattoo because that's how he wrote it in letters to his mom. He was a young soldier away from home for the first time. I spelled it wrong for him. It still bugs me. But it was his fully informed choice. 